I'm heading to my favorite thrift store that I stumbled upon next to the Ross Dress for Less store. Hi Shoebox friends, welcome back. This is Denise from D. Rogers. Today we're gonna go thrift shopping for Operation Christmas Child at my favorite thrift store called Second Avenue Thrift Superstore. So come along and let's see what we can find for Operation Christmas Child. Okay, here we go. I always get excited right before I go in. This is the Thrift, Second Avenue Thrift Superstore. And this place is huge. I never knew it was here before. Look how big it is. I always look at the sign first. Today's sale colors are 50% off green and 50% off orange. This is the home decor area. It's really big and then it brings you right to the arts and crafts area. I've been pretty successful in this area in the past, finding things like beads, ribbon, yarn, some great items. And then this is the office supply area. And I like this area too. They bag up school supplies, play packs, calculators. This was a play pack. Uh, it's two for a dollar. And these are some big pencils, mechanical pencils. This looks like some playing cards from Dollar Tree. Um, this was an Uno game with some stickers. Sometimes they pair strange things together. This is a great pack. Includes a lot of different items, all for a dollar. Now let's go down to the toy area where they have all the stuffies. And this is just showing you how big it is. The stuffed animals have rows and rows of stuffed animals. And I always check every row out and I check my stuffed animals out very carefully from head to toe. I'm convinced that a lot of these stuffed animals are promotional items because they come from organizations, stores, and they all appear, not all of them, but a lot of them appear to be brand new. That's a Coles Cares elephant. That's a Walmart stuffed animal from Valentine's Day. And these pink flamingos were all from the San Diego Zoo. All brand new really pretty. This is a really cute hyena. I think he's a little too big for my shoe boxes, but boy is he cute. Let's see, he would be 250 today. Oh, he's a cutie. He's a little gorilla. That is an American Greetings card stuffy. And this one's really pretty. This is a Wells Fargo stuffed animal, a horse. Again, probably too big for a shoebox, but boy was he pretty and brand new. Oh, this one makes me smile. That's a very pretty teddy bear. I'm just inspecting every little inch of him to make sure he is in perfect condition. And then I'm going to look at all these toys on the wall over here. They bag up little toys together, sometimes two stuffies to a bag. But sometimes it's hard to see in the bag because um, you can't open the bag. So you want to make sure it's in perfect condition. Ah, uh, that's a puzzle from Batman. That looks cool. Brand new. And this stuffy is really cute. It's an Aurora brand, which is one of my favorites. And they have all these little bags of little toys. I like to look for Fisher Price, but sometimes they bag the Fisher Price car up with two other items I don't need. So I'm always looking for the bags that have items I can use. Every item and every item is of good quality. Look how big this wall is. I can be in here for like an hour or more just looking at all these items. Uh, this is a cute Squishmallow. Really cute, brand new. All right, let's head over to the puzzles area. Oh, this is a really pretty one. This is like a butterfly, butterfly puzzle block. That's a gem. I really like it when you can find unusual items. 
Oh, this is a truck metal kit, a dollar fifty, brand new. Everything in there was unopened. Now let's look at the books. I'm looking for the orange and green tags for fifty percent off, and I'm looking for the smaller books that will fit inside my shoe boxes. This is a cute one. Fisher Price, we can build it. It's a construction book. It looks brand new. And it's only 50 cents. Before I knew it, it was time to check out. I had been there quite a while. These are the checkout lines. And this is my cart. And let's head home to show you what I got. Okay, I'm going to share with you what I got on that trip plus what I got on one other trip. These superstore thrift shops are located in Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Virginia. And they seem to be located all up and down the I-95 corridor. So if you're close to those areas, I encourage you to check it out. I do not have many good thrift stores very close to where I live. I actually stumbled upon this one, as I mentioned in the video. And boy, am I glad I found it because I have gotten some really good finds for my shoe boxes. So I did pick up these play packs. They were 50% off, so it was $1 for two play packs. And they are brand new, and I really try to go for those unopened items. I found this really cool checker rug game. It's like a rug with checkers. And that was $1. And I was looking for the green and orange tagged items mostly. I got the same type of game, only it's checkers. That was a dollar. I got that Batman puzzle I think I showed with showed you. And this is marked a dollar ninety-nine. This is unopened and it was a dollar. So, you know, again with Dollar Tree being a dollar twenty-five now, these are the kinds of deals that I look for in a thrift shop. This is a box of a planes puzzle by Disney. It's pretty cool because it's a lenticular puzzle, 24 pieces, and the box has never been opened, and that was a dollar. I splurged a little bit on this one, but I thought it was so pretty. It's, um, it's called Puzzle Blocks, and when you open it up, it's different pieces to make, let's see if I can show you, six different butterfly puzzles. I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to look so pretty in a box, and it is in perfect condition. Um, so I was really excited to get that one. These are some of the books that I got. Um, this little one, We Can Build It, was 50 cents. It's in perfect condition. And I'm going to show you, if you've never used this stuff, it's called Goo Gone. You can get it at Dollar Tree. I've also gotten it at Walmart. And it's great for getting these kind of stickers off without damaging the product. So it's called Goo Gone or Goo Be Gone. I've used it for so many things for Operation Child. So just a little tip. I got that one for 50 cents. I got this one, First 100 Trucks, for 50 cents, which is just pictures of trucks. I got this one called Slow Sleepy Sloths, which I thought was really sweet. And that one was 50 cents. And this one called Little Pip and the Rainbow Wish. This was actually from, looks like it came from Ollie's, which is a discount store in our area. And it was originally $9.98, was selling at Ollie's for $2.99 and it was 99 cents. It was green tag, 50% off, so it was 50 cents. And it's, it's a beautiful book. It's just beautifully illustrated. So I was happy about that one. I got a crab. I just thought he was so cute. He was more than I would normally spend, but I'm from Maryland, so if you know Maryland, you'll understand. But this is the prettiest crab. This is what a Maryland blue crab really looks like before it's cooked. He was $2.49, and he is just a beautiful quality, perfect condition, so I may do a Maryland box. So I got him. I got all these school supplies that I showed you in the video. Now, you know, some of these are not 
like huge deals, but they're not bad because I've been looking for um, school supplies and my Walmart, you know, doesn't have, I found sharpeners on sale recently and some pencils, but other than that, the crayons are back up full price, the colored pencils are back up full price, so I have not been so fortunate. So these were a good deal. These were um, mechanical pencils for a dollar, for 36 of them. It was a dollar 99, 50% off green tag. This one had markers and stickers. And these, actually, I think these are tattoos. Um, and they're Scooby-Doo. And I have a Scooby-Doo box I'm working on. So that was great. Those are $1.99, but it came up to a dollar. This was an orange tag for $1.99. So it's 50% off of orange also. It has a, a 36 count of Play School crayons, an eight count of Crayola crayons a notebook, a mini notebook, and a pencil case. So I thought for a dollar, that was an awesome deal. This one just has the colored pencils and the erasers for a dollar. Same with these. Those were all the school supplies. Okay, the only stuffies that I really got, or I really decided to go with, was this beautiful teddy bear that I just fell in love with. He's so huggable, so pretty, and he was only a dollar. And uh, he's in perfect condition and I think will be loved by a child. And then I got this monkey that I showed you. Uh, he was a, an American Greetings Valentine's Day stuffy and he was a dollar also. And I loved him for a boy. Okay, I got a lot of these little bags filled with these trucks. And these are um, some of these trucks you could see them at Walmart. Uh, this is a Fisher Price truck. So this was a dollar fifty. This was a um, Paw Patrol fire truck and a like a, a model car. That was a dollar. This is a Fisher Price uh, uh, tractor and another like green monster. It looks like a train. Like a mon I've never heard of a monster train, but that's what it looks like. That was $1.50. I loved this cement truck. And probably I spent probably more on this one than I should have. It was $1.50, but it's in perfect condition. And I think a little boy will really love it. This little package of fire trucks. That was $1.50. And then I always look for Fisher Price cars. These are all Fisher Price. And you know, Fisher Price are pretty expensive. And these were $1.99 for all of those. And then finally I got these playing cards. You see them at Dollar Tree. These are unopened, brand new, and these were a dollar. So cheaper than Dollar Tree now that it's $1.25. So that was those were my finds for yesterday. So now I'm going to show you some finds from my previous trip. All right, as you can see. I have a lot of stuffies here. So I'm in good shape for stuffed animals now. But these were so beautiful and some of them were so unique. So this is just a great way to find stuffies if you have a place like this near your home. And again, this one is not near my home. It's about 50 minutes away. But I always pair that with a trip to Walmart. Uh, that's near there and some other places uh, to make it worth the trip. So this was a day I think the pink ones were 50% off and the blue ones because that's mostly what's in here and I think the green were 33% off. But this is a beautiful, I don't see the tag, let's see, it's called Plushies. It's a beautiful horse. I just loved it. So it's listed as $3.49, so it was $1.70, something like that. Really pretty. I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as possible. This one I fell in love with. It's a little red bear. She has like a little apron and a hat on. She was a dollar. So really sweet. I got a mini, a red mini. I'm doing a red mini box. She was perfect. She is listed as $2.99, and I 
think I did pay $2.99 for her because I don't think it was a yellow deal, but she was in such perfect condition and perfect for my red mini box. I got a Patrick for my SpongeBob box and he was a dollar and he's in perfect condition and I'm really picky about my stuffed animals when I choose them. This one was really cute. It's a little bear holding a strawberry and he was two dollars. So I think this one was 33% off. I got trolls. I couldn't believe the trolls. I was so excited about these. These were marked $1.99, but they were only a dollar. They look like they are brand new, never been touched or played with. So I got the boy and the girl, Poppy, and I forget his name. They were a dollar each. I got, this is one of my favorites too. It is a, um, this one was $1. And he is a cute, cute, sweet little boy. Dressed in my favorite colors, orange and blue. I don't even see a tag to be able to tell. Oh, here it is, the brand. It's called Playtime by Amy. Plushable. I don't know, but he is so precious. I just loved him. I found this cute little pink bear with a little hat, sun hat on. She was a dollar twenty-five. This cute little, um, I guess he's a Chihuahua, and it was a dollar forty-nine, so it was half of that, which I guess makes it seventy-five cents. So really cute. I got this beautiful Sophia doll. I love these because they're very soft and easy to pack. And she was a dollar fifty, and she's in perfect—I mean, perfect condition. I got a Mulan doll. My pile over here is gonna fall. I got a Mulan doll that was really pretty. She was two ninety nine, so it was half of that it was a dollar fifty. So really pretty, perfect condition, no marks, nothing at all. And she'll be perfect for a box. Finally, a few of the little bagged items or the bag stuffies. There was, I think this is Stuart, a minion, and another little, little ugly doll. I think that's what they're called. This one was a dollar. I got this little hamster just because I thought he was so darn cute. He's like a rainbow hamster. And he was a dollar. And they had a squishmallow. And I think, I'm not sure if I paid a dollar or $1.99 for him, but either way, that's a good price for a squishmallow. Tags included, perfect condition. And I got this little mermaid. I, I hesitated about getting her because sometimes it's hard to tell underneath the plastic what the stuffy looks like. But I got her home and oh boy, am I glad I got her. She is in beautiful condition. She's a Thai a beanie. Her name is Lorelei. There's her little tag. It's called Sea Sequins. And she was 99 cents or probably a dollar, but you get the idea. Really pretty. And then finally, a few hanging items. I got a bag of beads for a dollar that I will put into some of my bead kits. I got a nice calculator for a dollar. It's a little bit bigger than the ones you see at Dollar Tree and it has a case with it. I got this kids workshop building kit, which originally was from Lowe's. It's called Turkey Topple, and I think that was in my video where they build the game to play it. So that's really good for a, like an older boy or five to nine even. And then these two color pencil, color by number sets, there's two in here. And this was $1.33 for both of them. I have gotten these cheaper on clearance at Walmart, but I thought that was a good price for two of them. 
And then finally, one more package of cards from Dollar Tree, unopened, and a package of the mini three composition books. And that was a dollar for both of those items. Well, thanks for thrifting with me for OCC. I hope you enjoyed it and saw some things you liked. I'm trying to help you find ways to fill your boxes. I know that stuffies have been hard to find this year, and maybe this is an option for you. It didn't come to me right away. It took me a while to find this place, so maybe look around. Again, I stumbled onto it, and I'm really glad that I did. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. God bless you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.